Welcome! Today I will tell you the story how I built a children's crank set basically from scrap parts I bought second hand. This is the bike we needed for. It's a beautiful youth bike from KTM which weighs a little bit less than 11 kilos but there's a problem. Also the bike is quite light, the chain ring has 32 teeth and the length of the cranks is 125 mm, which is quite short for a 24-inch bike, especially if you want to go up steep hills in the mountains. So, no way, we need another crank set. Our goal is to build a new crank set with a chain ring of 28 teeth or less and a crank length of 140 mm. There's a rule of thumb that the size of the driver of the bike should match in centimeters, in millimeters, the length of the crank. That's our goal. So I made a research in the internet if it's possible to buy a such a crank set and it's very, very difficult to find. I found race sets, but those are 200 to 400 euros, so no way this is the price of the bike. So my decision, let's try to make it. Let's start. So I found this crank set second hand on the internet for about 10 euro and yeah it's heavy, it's plastic coated and inside metal but it's heavy duty, it's forearmed and we will take it at the base for our new crank set. Let's see how it works out. So this is our target chain ring. This is a 28 forearm Shimano chain ring and the idea is to remove this chain ring and replace it with this chain ring instead. See it's forearmed so it will fit on those forearms but there will be loads of custom mechanics to do so because as you see the holes will be covered by these metal plates here. But fortunately they have they're just optics so we can cut them away and thus we can access the, um, the, the, the screws from both sides and screw it on here. But the first task will be to make the holes for the chain ring to fit them correctly on the old on this crank set. The idea to do so is we will use the special screws here as a guidance and drill exactly like this you should see it I think. So we will this take as a guidance and drill exactly through those here. And doing so we will have the four holes we can mount it then to the to the crank set. After drilling the after drilling the, the four holes here, we have to cut it, for make it smaller. And we also will have to cut it on this side. Remove all the stuff beyond this line here. This I think will be the part I will not like because it's it's just work and just for the optics. Not only for the optics because we have to um, have access to the to the holes to screw the chain ring onto this crank set. But I don't like that stuff. Doesn't help. Okay. To do so, the plan is to have the chain ring with all the four screws. Just put one of the screws in here. Fixed onto this crank. Firmly fixed onto it so we can Drill all, drill all the holes and then 
first with the small drill, then with the larger one. This doesn't exactly fit in here. I measured the diameter of this. This is 3.9 millimeters. So a 4 millimeter drill won't fix inside here. We uh, won't fit inside here. And the 3.5 does the job. Okay. How will we do this? You see, if I have all the screws right in here, the problem will be to fix the chain ring to the crank set. But I have an idea how to make this. I will take a piece of wood, drill the four holes through the wood, through the wood, through the place plate, and then have it right here. Make a center hole, put it on top of the chain ring, fix it through the hole onto the whole crank set, and then we have a robust connection for drilling the holes um, through the crank set. At least that is the idea. So let me explain this a little bit more in detail. Here you see the crank set with the markings. And as you see, there are the four holes and the yellow circle where we will cut the old chain ring. We will use the method to have a small board fixed through the center line and then check whether it's well centered and drill the holes. And this is very essential to be very, very precise on that so that the chain ring, you see it on the right hand side, will fit very, very tough and very, very uh, well on those four holes. Let's do it. Good, so we are done with the crank set. And you see, I messed a little bit up the position of the holes, but nevertheless, when putting the, the chain ring later on, this will fit quite nicely and is quite round, so there is no problem here. Here you see it more in detail. The, the yellow arrow is, I'm very, very close to the sewing part, but the red arrows indicate the direction of force, so that's definitely no problem for this chain ring. And the next task will, yes, well, the paint. You see here the original, untreated, has some ugly rubber coating on it. Yeah, I want to get rid of before painting it. Here I've done this and I'm using just this, what is it, 180. Furthermore, I protected the threads with, simply with washers and screws through, right here, right here. And the next task is, well, get the coating off. Here I'm done already, this to go, I will do it right now and then let's paint it. From painting we will start at the inner side. So if there are any droplets and so on, um, I can cut them off and the outer side will be the nicer side. That's the plan. Now let's get to work. So now it's painted from the back side. Doesn't look that bad. And the other crank is over there, the other wrench. And also this doesn't look that bad. Let's get it right and then paint the other side. So finally we are done. Can remove the washers, the protections. Right here and here. Let's do that. Here. So, let's put the chain ring on again.
Definitely no problem with this paint right here. Could also put on here some thread locker to make this extra safe. But I think that is not necessary. Okay. Looks good. I would say the experiment worked quite well. <laughs> nice, nice pair of cranks. Okay, done. So finally it's done. Looks good. Works great. Now we have a 28 crank set. Before it was 34. Much better. Especially in combination with the Mega Range gear set there. Okay. So finally, some safety considerations. I tested the final result, of course, myself. So I took the bike and pedaled a little bit with some force, and it worked very well. Nothing was loose and it felt very, very good. Furthermore, we did no modification of the original crank. The connection between the crank arm and the chain ring or the base of the chain ring is original and it's quite sturdy and, and very well. The chain ring is only connected via the screws but not the outer nuts, but I think this is no problem in this case, as, last but not least, the force on children's bikes is limited. So, would I recommend others to do this? I think it depends if the base crank you're working on is of good quality, as in this case, it was quite ugly, but it's good quality. I think it's safe to do that. But always be aware, if you do modifications on a bike like that, you always have the full liability and responsibility of what you're doing. Keep that in mind. Okay, thanks for watching.